Flashing me. What is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Chico Fellow here, man, back with a new video. And as you guys can see, I am now a level 21. Peep the drip, by the way, man. Rate my fill 1 through 10 in the comment section below, chat. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm looking real drippy out here in the cruise ship. Anyway, I want to get straight to the point, y'all. Obviously, this video is going to be a jump shot video. This video is meant to help you guys out. I'm sure a lot of you guys just got NBA 2K22. You just hopped on the cruise ship, and you guys are looking for a brand new jump shot to use for the year. And you guys have come to the right place for that, okay? I've only been using this jump shot for a whole day, but I can guarantee that if you guys put on this jump shot, you guys will no longer miss a shot, like, quite literally... Every single white goes in in this game at the moment. But um, hopefully they patch it later on, because I'm not going to lie. Way too many whites go in at the moment. I have been shooting quite consistently with this jump shot, even without having too many shooting badges at the moment. Without further ado, I'm going to show you guys this jump shot right now, man. If you guys do enjoy this video, if you guys find this helpful, make sure you guys don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below which jump shot are you guys rocking with for the whole of NBA 2K22, man. I really want to see what you guys are using. And uh, let's get straight to it. So as you guys know, you guys get the jump shot created off rip. This will be a custom jump shot that I'm going to be showing you guys. So go over to your jump shot creator real quick. And now jump shot. I'm sure a lot of you guys will already be expecting this. But starting with our lower base, you guys are going to want to go to... Let me get this out the way. Jump shot 98. As you guys know, this base right here has been the best base in the game for a very, very long time. And it's also been one of the fastest, if not the fastest base in the game. Moving on to the upper release. You guys want to go to this page right here and scroll down to... Let me get this out the way once again. Upper release 1 is going to be... Kobe Bryant and then moving over to upper release 2 you guys want to scroll down to page 14 Rudy Gay for release 2 so once again we have base 98 release 1 Kobe Bryant release 2 Rudy Gay and then after that our release speed is going to be 75% I mean a lot of people do prefer 100% but I feel like 75% um, from my experience is a lot more consistent I mean the difference between the two isn't really that drastic and to be honest with you guys, I find 75% a lot more effective and like I said, a lot more consistent. And then the animation blending over here will be 70% to Kobe Bryant and then 30% to Rudy Gay. And just like that, you guys have your jump shot. This jump shot is honestly chicken, bro. Like this jump shot is honestly going to change the way you guys play. This is going to help you guys a lot, especially for guys. I'm sure this... Jump shot probably works uh, well for bigs as well, but I've only tested it on a guard so far. And I can honestly say that it is the best jump shot I've ever used. I don't really make a lot of jump shot videos. This is this will probably be the only jump shot video that I make uh, for 2K22 because I'll probably be sticking to this jump shot for the entire year anyway. Moving on though, I do want to quickly talk about uh, a few other things uh, that will help you guys shoot if you guys are still watching. Um, I want to talk about the badges, uh, what I think the best shooting badges are to help you guys out shoot. So at the moment, as you guys can see, this is my build right here. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my build video, make sure you guys uh, check out my latest upload uh, before this one. It is uh, explaining my 6-4 build, which I think is actually such an insane build. I've been going crazy with this build, especially on the 2s, man. Uh, we currently have a 95 win set. But anyway, go check out the build if you guys want to see the build. But as you guys can see, this is the, uh, the current badge layout that I have. So as you guys can see, I've only got... 13 out of the 23 badges but in my opinion okay i've tested i've, I've played around with a, a lot of other badges i feel like at the moment it's actually very very easy to shoot on this game if you guys are wondering obviously a lot of you guys would have just hopped on the game wondering which badge uh should i max out first and which badges are going to be the most effective especially off rep so in my opinion i've tested out a lot of these badges blinders honestly i thought blinders was really uh, going to be a really good badge but in my opinion bro like blinders I put this like even on Hall of Fame and I felt like it wasn't really doing that much. Um, so I actually took down Blind as I put it on Deadeye instead and Deadeye was actually a lot more effective. But um, if you guys were looking for your first badge to max out though, I will still prioritize this badge over here. Uh, Limitless spot up, especially if you're going to be shooting a lot of threes. I would guarantee uh, before anything else, get this maxed out first because this is basically like a range extender. As you guys can see, if you press triangle on this, it just gives you a boost to the range that a player can effectively shoot standing three-point shots and uh as soon as you guys have this hall of fame you can basically pull from deep and obviously you're not gonna have to worry about being too far away from the three-point line and that is why i feel like this is uh probably the most essential badge this works for both the twos and the threes and then after that i'll probably say maybe prioritize like a silver green machine but anyway 
So like I said, prioritize your limitless spot up first. Put up your green machine to at least silver. Then after that, put up your dead eye a little bit like silver. And then hot zone hunter to like silver. And then after that, just like keep adding to them uh, as you unlock badges. But anyway, other than that, I feel like the other additional badges, the only other additional badges that I see being useful are volume shooter, uh, clutch shooter, Maybe even corner spec and maybe catch and shoot. Um, this badge right here though does look quite interesting. Uh, lucky number seven. It gives you a boost to early shot clock jumpers. So the earlier you shoot uh, within the shot clock, the the bigger the boost. So I feel like that actually could be a good badge. Oh wait, hold on. It says right here it gives a boost to mid range or three point attempts within the first seven seconds of a position. It's quite interesting. That is a very interesting badge. Um, I might try that out eventually and uh, and uh, get back to you guys. This might be a uh, this actually low-key might be a really good badge. I don't know how big the boost will be. I might try that on Hoff and uh, get back to you guys. Anyway, that is going to be it for this video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I, like I said earlier, I'm already a level 21. I've been really, really enjoying this game so far. And hopefully uh, that continues. But hopefully you guys found this uh, jump shot video helpful. Let me know in the comment section below once again what you guys think. If you guys do end up using it. I love you guys so much, man. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for tuning into this video. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.